Yo, what is going on guys? It's Omega here and damn it's good to be doing these commentaries again. I mean, I'm so used to doing the Oceana news where I've got to be like really non-biased and obviously quite formal with it. And then I'm, or, or I'm doing like Freaky Fridays where I'm just reacting to horror games and stuff. But anyway, it's good to be here talking to you guys. I want to do more of these commentaries where I do my own Call of Duty gameplays and stuff like that. Um, first thing I want to talk to you guys about tonight is, uh, probably as a lot of you know who follow me on Twitter, you know I did a car competition for quite a few days, um, I was helping out there and stuff, I have been away for a while doing that, I did tweet out about it, um, basically I did a hands-on car competition, where um, you basically got to place your hand on a car, and the, the car that we placed our hands on was worth around ten thousand dollars we place a hand on a car and we just got to stand all of us had to stand there as long as we possibly can obviously all the guys that signed up for it and the last person standing is the one that wins the car now um i only managed to, myself to pull off nearly 15 hours and the reason for that is because i do have a bit of a medical problem with my back my back gave out on me sadly, I mean my mind wanted to continue, obviously being a gamer I don't sleep a whole lot anyway, but my mind wanted to continue with it but my back sort of just gave out and I got to the point where I couldn't, um, you know, I find it really difficult to walk, my joints have all sort of seized up a bit. Now you got to remember guys, I am in New Zealand, we did this in the middle of freaking winter at fridge temper, you're looking at like 2 degrees temperatures and below, you know, it, it, it's so cold, like you, you have your hand on this car, and you have to keep it on there for the whole four hours until the horn goes off. So we, every four hours we had a break, and the break was only 15 minutes long. And during that break, we were allowed like family and friends to come up and give us water and food and stuff. We could sit down and all that. But for four hours, we had to constantly just stand there. It started at 5 p.m. on Thursday, and I did all Thursday night and a bit of the morning. But that was it for me. I was like, nah, that's enough for me. Um, but yeah, basically we place our hand on this car and, and your hand would just freeze over and you could feel the cold just grinding at your bones out. It was so painful. Anyone out there that's laughing at me now saying, oh, you only did nearly 15 hours out of that. You guys try go out there, you know, in, in, in really cold temperatures and hold on to like freezing cold metal and just, and your hand will just freeze over. You know, it's difficult. It's really hard. So one guy there only lasted two hours because it was just so cold. Anyway. The thing I really wanted to, to talk about was the fact that uh, the guy that actually won it, Chris, he actually bet the New Zealand record for standing there with absolutely no sleep. He stood there for 78 hours and 9 minutes. Man, that is crazy. Congratulations to you, Chris. You are one determined man. I cannot believe that you did that. That was absolutely nuts, dude. Considering the world record in Singapore is uh, 87 hours, Hewitt getting really close to the 80 hour mark, you know, that is absolutely crazy. It was a really tough competition. He bet the uh, the previous New Zealand record, which was 69 hours, he bet it by 9 hours. Chris, that is insane, man. Well done. I hope you enjoy that card, dude, because you freaking deserve it, man. That's crazy. Um, and another thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, I have been trying to live stream over the last couple of days on my channel. Now some of you guys came on and saw that, I saw a lot of you guys kind of commenting and stuff, or some of you guys. Um, I'm sorry about the lag issues and all that sort of thing, I have been using OBS to try and stream to my channel. Um, it was really laggy, I understand that, I know I had heaps of friggin' problems with it, it was just pathetic. I don't even know why I tried it, but I know that the internet I'm on isn't the greatest. Um, obviously I'm not going to try it again until I figure something out, like I either get a better program, I can figure out what's causing the lag, oh that's my internet, oh, so I get better internet, better program, better software, I don't know, any better computer, I don't know. That's annoying because I just bought a new computer. But anyway, I don't know what the issue was, it just wasn't working, so I apologise for that guys. I won't be streaming again for a while, I'm just going to stick to doing YouTube uploads, but I will stream again in the future when I figure something out. Now last topic of tonight guys, I just really want to quickly talk to you guys about is... Um, I want to talk to this guy about this kid called Existify. Now, this guy was is a twi is a Twitch streamer. He's only been Twitch streaming for a couple of weeks. Um, he's been doing previous stuff, but he actually DM'd my Twitter and um, 
he DM'd me saying he really wanted to be a part of Azor and stuff, and he showed me his Twitch link. Now, I just happened to see this, so I was flicking through my, my DMs on Twitter, and I saw it, and I clicked on his Twitch link, and I saw he was currently streaming. I was like, yes. I was like, perfect opportunity. So I clicked on his link, and, and, and I, I was actually in a Skype call with all the overalls of Azor. I was like, hey, guys, hey, let's, let's surprise this kid, eh? Let, like, let's really surprise him. And all the guys agreed this, and I was, I was just quite hysterical the whole time, eh? and I sent him a message, and I got all the boys to send him a message, he was just like freaking out, he was really excited, and, and good on to you, uh, Existify, I don't, uh, if you guys didn't know his name, his name's actually Liam, I've actually met the kid now properly, he's a really, really nice kid, um, really doing really good effort with his Twitch channel and that, he's really down to earth sort of kid, really like the guy, eh? he's awesome, um, we made, gave him a really good surprise, I'm going to show you a couple of highlights of what happened, uh, be sure to watch them and, and wait on for, um, I'm going to be talking after it as well. Be sure to check this out guys because it was it was quite awesome. I, I really love enjoying, you know, I really love surprising the community and making the community, especially people that are underrated, really happy. I mean, this is the point of Azor, you know. Do check these guys, do check these highlights out guys. Check uh, Xbox messages. XD. Be advised, your attack insert has been destroyed. What? No way, have you guys just, what the hell? What? Oh my god. What? Oh my god, thanks so much guys, holy shit. All the leaders of Azure all at once. Oh shit. Lots what, of did they they all, they all sending me messages, holy shit. Thanks guys, thanks guys, holy shit. What, all, all the leaders of Azure? Yeah. What are they saying? They just like, they just sent me a message and they're like, wink, smiley face, heart, and nice stream bro, holy shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Holy shit. My 10th follower. Ah. Oh. You are my 10th follower. Age of Azua. Azure is in the house. I'm just getting like raided by Azure. Just I'm casually. Just, enjoying. just followed by Age of Azure, the clan. Check my messages on Xbox. Is it something important? <laughs> oh! Did you see the Age of. Um, Does this uh, mean. Does this mean they, something? They, is it. Um, is there some. They posted your thing like that. Yeah, yeah, they, they tweet. Is this, is this some kind of subliminal message? They said check your messages on Xbox. I did. I added. I accepted all their friend requests. Holy shit! What the? F I got another notification. Okay, I'm accepting a mail. What the? F okay, okay. I'll jo I'll join him. Uh, I'm scared. What's happening? RNZ is like saying hi, hi. They're in your game, they're in your party. <laughs> See oh what just God. happened, expert? My Xbox Did controller is answer? sweating. I am freaking degenerate. So guys, I actually have Existify or Liam here with me today. How are you today, dude? Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. Um, yeah, how are you? Yeah, no, I'm not too bad, not too bad. So how did you feel, dude? Like honestly, how did you feel with um, all the overalls of Azor just messaging you, messaging you all of a sudden? You know, how did that make you feel? I don't know. I was uh, surprised, a bit nervous, but also like honoured that they actually noticed me and something's gonna happen. And like they're really good guys, so it's a really nice surprise. That's awesome, dude. So how long have you actually been streaming for, man? Um, well, we'll just say Twitch time, so about three weeks. Only three weeks, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, have you done anything previously uh, before streaming? Like, have you done um, YouTube or yeah. like, any other sort of Yeah, I did YouTube before? and YouTube streaming for about four months before Twitch, yeah. Oh, nice, man. Nice. That sounds really good. So, how do you how do you feel now, like, like after it's all happened, you know, like, after getting that awesome surprise? Um, like, how do you feel now with, you know, after meeting these old boys and, and all that? It was almost, it was humbling and exhilarating, I guess, because it was, it was yeah. a really nice surprise, and they're all really genuine guys, as well as you, everyone, all the overalls that I met, and it was good to get to know them and get to have a chat with them and see where the future can take us. 
sounds really cool, man. So I just just want to ask me, like, what what's your advice to other like smaller people in this community, especially in you know New Zealand and Australia? What's your advice that you can give to like even younger people as yourself that want to come forward to say teams like Azor, um, and and that they're, but they're very nervous because you you were saying to me before that you were quite anxious about it and you you know you you waited a few days before you yeah. actually messaged yeah. me. Uh, what's your advice to these younger people and that that they want to try and come forward to these bigger teams? Um, my advice is just do it. If you want to, if you're thinking about DM DMing the leaders or DMing anyone or contacting someone, just do it. The worst that can happen is they say no. Uh, sorry, not this time, but you can always go back. It's not like the leaders are going to blacklist you because you've tried or you've contacted them. Sounds like some good advice, man. Um, yeah, so from this, you know, as you as you know, um, uh, Liam, we do run Azor Media. So um, we'll definitely have to talk to you about, you know, um, getting you maybe involved with Azor Media and stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. um, That might be quite interesting for you, eh, man? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for de- DMing me, dude. I'm glad I stumbled across your no, DM. No, that's and, all right. You know, it gave us a really good chance to get, for all of us because I was actually in a Skype call with all the overalls at the time. It was actually a really good opportunity for us to, um, yeah, for us to, to talk to you and, and give you a nice surprise, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so um, thanks very much for coming on and talking to us all today, man. No uh, appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, just for anyone else um, that wants to come forward to Azor, you know, don't be shy, you know. Just come forward like Liam did and, um, and you know, don't just don't be shy about it, you know. We're all willing to, to look at your messages and stuff like that. But, yeah, I will leave your links down below, um, Liam, to anyone that wants to check you out on Twitch. Right. And, obviously, your YouTube channel as well. Thanks. Um, if anyone wants to check you out there. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been Omega and Liam or Zistify. And we'll catch you guys later. See ya.